I've never seen the sky so blue! And look at all those awesome buildings! I never imagined that the Krem Republic was going to be this big! My friends, allow me the honor to be the first to welcome you to the Krim Republic, where culture and magicanical technology thrive. Is this what oceans are supposed to look like? It's a lot cleaner than the Licorice Sea. Hmm, the climate is cool and crisp too. Much more mild than the Hollyberry Kingdoms. Haha! <laughs> Hence the reason why the Krem Republic is the greatest land for all cookies. Everywhere you look, at every turn and every corner, there is nothing but beauty and kindness. Bask in the radiance of our city, my friends. Enjoy what the city has to offer. Consul, sir, shall I send word to the elders that we have arrived? I beg to differ. Our first stop must be the laboratory. We must analyze the Soul Gem without delay. Decisions, decisions. Right. My friends, your opinions on this matter would be greatly appreciated. Shouldn't we meet the Elders first? I concur. Protocol stipulates that we report to the Convocation of Elders upon arrival. The quickest route to the Lyceum is through the Piazza of Monument Spire. I agree that delivering our report should be our very first move. Please, lead the way. Wow! So this is the Monument Spire! It's so cool! The sunlight makes it seem like the tower is shining! Haha! <laughs> if you look closely at the base, there are two sugar griffins holding up the spire. They symbolize the Republic's commitment to safety and peace. Ah, salutations. I heard you'd arrived. I was just on my way to greet you. Greetings, Archbishop. It has been a while. Esteemed delegates, allow me to introduce to you Archbishop Cream Cookie, the voice of the Republic's faith. May I ask where you are heading? We are currently en route to the Lyceum for an audience with the elders. Ha, huh, I see. Would it not be wise to grant a prayer of thanks to the Divines before delivering your report? After all, your safe return home is proof that their celestial lights has watched over you during your travels. Surely your time abroad hasn't made you forget the Republic's customs of thanking the Divines after fulfilling a great deed? Come, I shall walk with you to the Divine Sanctum. Wow! This is the Divine Sanctum? It's like the most beautiful cake ever, decorated with the fanciest cream and toppings. Welcome to the Divine Sanctum. This cathedral serves as one of the most historically and culturally significant locations in all of the Krem Republic. Ah, but where are my manners? Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Archbishop Cream Cookie, a faithful disciple to the Divines. Entertaining new guests, are we, Archbishop? <laughs> the Sanctum seems more lively than usual. Elder Milfoyer Cookie, I did not see you there. I came to pray for those less fortunate. The cookies who are suffering in pain and sadness. Your journey here must have been exhausting. I thank the Divines that you have made it safely. Oh! Just look at you, crumbs on your face. Mm. Thank you for your concern, Elder Millifoy Cookie. Uh, who's this? I present to you Elder Millifoy Cookie, one of the nine members of the Convocation of Elders. A pleasure to meet you. You have played a crucial role in these trying times, as our lands are on the brink of war. I heard that you have achieved great success in the summit with the ancient heroes at the Vanilla Kingdom? Mm. Indeed. The ancient heroes have agreed to my terms. We have brought their soul gem, the legendary artifacts of mysterious power. These soul gems seem to be receptacles for their noble souls. They are secured in an enchanted reliquary to ensure a safe and, may I add, discreet transit. 
how fares our beloved city? I hope all has been well during my absence. The light of the divines graces us with its presence. All cookies under its warm sunlight remain healthy and crispy. However, there have been irregular rumors of heresy as of late. I am quite troubled by these acts of heresy. There are those who speak in a tongue unknown to the light. Some have even begun praying to the shadows, blighted areas untouched by the divines. What was that? Monsters? This cannot be! The celestial light protects the very foundations of our home. How can such foul evil set foot in our blessed city? Elder Millifoy Cookie. Archbishop Cream Cookie. Pardon my urgency, but may I ask that you watch over our cargo until we return? We must assess the situation at once. Oh, of course. I truly hope it is not too dangerous out there. Thanks so much! Let's head outside and take a look! A brown sugar golem! A golem just appeared in the middle of the city. This has never happened before. Consul, I highly advise you get behind me, sir. What on earth, Brett, is going on here? I thought you said this place was safe! By the light, this cannot be! Monsters! Flee for your lives! The buildings are collapsing! Help! Save us! Please! Somebody! Anybody! Help! These cookies need our help! We have to stop those golems! Phew! Thanks so much! I don't think I've ever seen anything like that! <laughs> All in a day's work. If you see any more brown sugar golems, leave them to us. Consul, it pleases me greatly that you are safe. The golems were quickly disposed of, allowing us to prevent further destruction and civilian injuries. But I've never seen such a monstrous creature. How is this possible? This is indeed disturbing. It seems like any other ordinary day, but within moments, chaos erupted in the middle of our fair city. Almost as if... by design. <gasps> Quickly, we must return to the Divine Sanctum at once. <sighs> what happened here? Are you alright? We... We were attacked. Who dare? Over there. <gasps> They're back. Quicker than expected. We have what we need. Let's go. Who are they? They're making a run for it. The soul gem. Is the soul gem safe? The reliquary is damaged. And... Sir, the soul gem are missing. What?! The soul gem... gone? Those masked cookies must have taken it. We need to hunt them down. Now! Where did they flee? The masked cookies are over there! Oh, they are quick! Split up! Roger that! As you command. Uh-oh! They split up! Which one has the soul jam? What do we do? Think quickly! We should split up, too! Let's go after one each! A wise plan. Let us rendezvous back at the Sanctum afterwards. The Soul Jam must be retrieved at all costs! No one's gonna steal the Soul Jam on my watch! Out of my way! What happened to the Soul Jam? Has it been recovered safely? No luck on my end. The cookie I caught didn't have them. I, too, was unlucky. My plan to triumphantly return with the Soul Jam in hand has crumbled before my eyes. I got it! Hey! I got the Soul Jam! This is Hollyberry Cookie's Soul Jam. 
We have successfully retrieved one of the three. What? Where's the rest? What about His Majesty, Soul Jam? I believe Wildberry Cookie has succeeded in retrieving one. There is something glowing within his hand. You got one too? Well, spit it out! Which one is it? I have retrieved King Dark Cacao Cookie Soul Jam. Oh, thank the glaciers! My nerves are shot! This was much tougher than training seven days and nights. On an empty stomach. In the mountains. During a blizzard! That means only pure vanilla cookie soul jam is left. Oh, my friends, I am glad to see everyone here. Is everyone safe and sound? We're okay. Did you find the soul jam? With great success. The masked fiend I chased was holding it tight. If I may, one, two, three. Hmm, yes, no doubt about it. These are indeed genuine, and I see no blemishes or damage to their integrity. Clotted cream cookie! Why, you? We almost lost the soul jam! Was this your plot all along? Huh? Let us speak without physical altercation. King Dark Cacao ordered me to protect the Soul Jam at all costs! And I swore my life to uphold his command. Mark my words. If the Soul Jam is lost, there will never be a safe place for you to hide. I am sorry. I failed to predict this sequence of events. I had attached an anti-tracking device to the Reliquary as a precaution, but I never imagined they'd remove the Soul Jam from the Reliquary itself. You have my word. I will take the utmost caution to prevent such incidents from occurring again. We must get the Soul Jam to the Institute of Thaumaturgy as soon as possible. Its security systems are state-of-the-art, and only authorized cookies are allowed entry. Very well. Let us head to the Institute at once. Is this the fancy institute y'all were talking about earlier? Quite a collection of equipment. Some as tall as a ceiling. There are so many scientists! They all look very smart and very busy! The Institute of Thaumaturgy is the largest and most well-financed laboratory of magic in the Republic. It is not an exaggeration to say that this facility paves the way for a better future. Espresso cookie. How will you be proceeding with your research? Conducting a full analysis with the usual methods. My own mixture of mineralogy, organoleptics, and subgranular gastronomy. The experiment will then proceed with the goal of transferring Soul Jam's energy into a cookie-made receptacle, of which I have already established a substantial list of candidates. The final and crucial step is to stabilize the energy contained within acceptable margins for cookies to use. You have my full support in this endeavor. I doubt I need to remind you of all cookies, but time is of the essence. I already recruited a team of the finest researchers beforehand. They will assist you in your research. It's an honor to be working with you. I look forward to the breakthroughs we'll be making here. And be careful! Experiments or not, make sure to keep the Soul Jam safe. And they need to be returned in perfect condition, with no harm done to them. Of course, no worries. Oh, we'll be careful. We graduated top of our class with honors, sucrose gum brulee. Now then, let us make way for an audience with the Elders. I am certain they are eager to hear of our return. I will remain here and begin my research. We have already forfeited valuable time. The Elders will have many questions for you about Soul Gem. You are the only one capable of providing an answer to assuage any qualms they may have. I assure you it will not take long, Espresso Cookie. <sighs> As you wish. Then let us make haste. You two. Are you capable enough to perform a basic yet thorough analysis of the Soul Gem? Yes, sir. We'll, we'll start, start at once. once. Venerable Elders, thank you for granting us this audience. Without further ado, 
I shall deliver my report on the summit held at the Vanilla Kingdom. I've invited Sir Madeline Cookie and Espresso Cookie to provide their input as well. Now then, upon my arrival at the summit. And thus, we have succeeded in transporting the Souljam to our Republic. They are safely secured in the Institute of Thaumaturgy, and we have already begun a detailed analysis. The ancient heroes willingly giving their soul jam, and you bringing them here safely too. Well done. As it is natural that we preserve our traditions as the rightful descendants of the Vanilla Kingdom, it is just as natural we have a say in the ancient hero's usage of soul jam. Madeline Cookie and Espresso Cookie, your efforts in investigating the whereabouts of Soul Jam are to be commended. Let us proceed with special commendations tomorrow at the Divine Sanctum. I beg your pardon, but my research must take precedence. Receiving a commendation also means I must partake in a frivolous ceremony. Ahem! Have you truly the audacity to reject such an offer? They are only bestowed upon the greatest of the Creme Republic. A magnificent gift from the Divines themselves. <sighs> <laughs> We're honored to receive the commendation. We are both very honored. I still cannot believe it. Soul Jam of Legend, here in our Republic. Is that why I felt an overwhelming presence of vigor and power? Or perhaps my senses are more attuned to perceive such things. It sounds like our scientists will have their hands quite full. Hmm, Kansong, how are you going to proceed? The Institute of Thaumaturgy will proceed with its research at full speed. No expenses will be spared. No equipment will be unused. The energy contained within Soul Jam will be scrutinized to the smallest granule of sugar. We must then find a way to safely harness a portion of this energy for other cookies to use. If we succeed, cookies all over Earthbred will have the strength to stand up against Dark Enchantress Cookie. Ho ho ho! It sounds like a good way to thwart some more pirates, too! It may be possible to use a portion of the Soul Jam's power to heal the sick and tend to the wounded. Regardless of the outcome, my heart yearns to see a world where no cookies will face the pain and grief of war. A job well done, Clotted Cream Cookie. Convincing the ancient heroes is quite the achievement. Elder Custard Cookie, you must be extremely proud of Clotted Cream Cookie's success. <laughs> Quite so. But it is times like these when one must remain humble. To uh, clarify, the ancient heroes have not entirely relinquished their soul jam, correct? Correct. We are working on borrowed time, and must take full advantage to research its power. The ancient heroes still have a full say in all matters of the soul jam. Exactly how much time? Their proposal left us no room for error. And it better not have been an empty promise. Who are these cookies? Ah, uh, uh, pardon me for the lack of introduction. These cookies are delegates from the Dark Cow and Hollyberry Kingdoms. They're here to ensure the safety of the ancient hero Soul Jam. I go wherever my great king Dark Cacao Cookie commands. I was ordered to keep the Soul Jam safe at any cost, and I never disobey orders. His Soul Jam is here, and I'm keeping an eye on all of you. Her Majesty Hollyberry Cookie and the other ancient heroes have come to this decision after much deliberation. Their will is to see peace on all of Earthbred, and I hope you won't disappoint them. If successful, uh, this research will remain in history for all time. Our convocation's legacy and the name of the Creme Republic will be remembered by all future generations. 
It is not an exaggeration to say that the future of the world rests in the hands of our fair city. Consul, your efforts over the past few days have yielded great results. All of the Elders seem pleased with your progress. Yet, I personally am not. There is still an enigma that perplexes me. Amassed cookies from before. Their movements were far from haphazard. They moved methodically, and their strike was coordinated. It seemed as if they knew when and where we would be. And how the Soldram was being transported. What's more, the Reliquary was enchanted with some of the strongest hexes and security devices known to the Republic. And they cut through it all, like a knife through butter. No one knew of such details. Except for the Elders. Sir, but that would... Are you suggesting one of the Elders might be engaging in such subterfuge? I... My behavior and words are unbefitting of my position. My apologies, Consul. Nothing more than speculation at the moment. Without more details, we would only come to an erroneous conclusion. But I cannot purge this thought from my mind. There is a veil of duplicity and deceit surrounding us. What must we do, sire? The Elders are the foremost authority in the Republic. Even on their own, they hold great power and influence. We cannot investigate them on a whim. Words are a powerful tool. They are also a window into one's soul. Perhaps we can uncover more through dialogue. However, my administrative duties restrain me from ascertaining the full truth on my own. I ask for your assistance and cooperation in investigating the Elders. I shall speak with Elders Oyster and Custard Cookie. Would you be willing to approach the others? I have a rising suspicion that each Elder has made their own personal conclusions about Soul Jam. Perhaps they will unwittingly reveal their intentions. You can trust us, Clotted Cream Cookie. We'll find out what's going on. You have my sincerest thanks. Now, Espresso Cookie. I trust that you will begin your research the moment you return to the Institute. Mind you, there are many eyes carefully watching every turn of this research. Your results will surely influence Earthbred's politics, as well as other spheres of life. I know you are eager to begin, but I must ask, not just for formality, will you be able to handle such a tremendous task? Can I ask you to bring a new age of peace and prosperity to all cookies of Earthbread? Yes, I shall. I leave the sciencing to you! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, then what should I do? Ah, ha ha! I got it! My new friends from afar, it would be an honor to invite you to stay at Mansion Madeline during your visit. The sunlight radiates throughout its halls, warm and comfortable chambers every which way. And, most of all, it's my home! <laughs> An excellent idea, Sir Madeline Cookie. I hope everyone may rest and recuperate well at Mansion Madeline. Is that... <gasps> it is! His nephew! Get over here and give your auntie a great big hug, Madeline Cookie! Madeline Cookie, have you lost weight? Oh, my poor dearie, has that heavy armor flattened your dough? You could have at least written us of your arrival. Ha ha ha! Aunties! I have returned home from yet another triumphant quest. My son! The birds were chirping such wonderful songs by my window this morning. I knew it was a sign of your safe return. Mother, I am glad to see you well. News of your travel has been shared with us on many occasions. Traveling from kingdom to kingdom all across the continent, I am proud of you, my son. 
Oh, I said it once and I'll say it again. How could the knights just send off a young and delicate cookie like our Madeline cookie to travel across the world like that? You complain about everything. But yes, you're right. How could they send our Madeline cookie off right after his promotion? How could they? Madeline Cookie, you must be so tired and hungry. Come, come. We just brewed a pot of tea and some jellies. Say ah! Don't hesitate. Eat, eat, eat. They're super sweet, just like you like them. Oh, yes, I remember. You won't eat anything if it's not sugary. Oh. Madeline Cookie, let Auntie make you a full meal. Have you grown shorter, too? Oh, that armor looks much too heavy. Why aren't you getting comfortable? Were you keeping safe during your travels? <laughs> ah, it feels so good to be home. Yes, Auntie's I, Madeline Cookie, am perfectly fine. But let me introduce to you my friends from the Cookie Kingdoms. I offered to house them during their visit to our great city. All friends of Madeline Cookie are welcome. Make yourselves at home. <gasps> Madeline Cookie, you brought friends. You made friends. <laughs> Hello. Deary, dearie, you travel too light. Oh, but look at you, you're so cute! Madeline Cookie, who is this friend of yours? He's so tall and handsome, and so majestic. And this friend of yours brought a puppy! Oh, who's a good doggo? You are, yes you are. Puppy? This majestic beast is a cream wolf! A wolf! You should know that Madeline Cookie is so soft and gentle, and you have to keep an eye on him. He has a sweet tooth and just can't control himself when there are sweets. And ever since he was a baby, he always kicks away the blanket when napping. You make sure he doesn't catch a cold. Oh, Madeline Cookie bringing friends home. Oh, I'm so happy. I hope you stay friends for a very long time. Of course we will. Have you ever seen such a lively and loving family? Oh, my family is the absolute best. Follow me, friends. Let me show you to your rooms. You are sure to be impressed by how comfortable they are.
Been. I never knew there was such a huge city across the ocean, and so many cookies are living here! This adventure is so exciting! I wonder what's gonna happen next. <sighs> but right now, I'm gonna sleep. Good morning, my friends. How fared your first night in the Krim Republic? Mm, crunchy chip cookie seems to be in discomfort. <laughs> I, uh, had a nightmare. A nightmare? I was dreaming of eating sweet jellies. So many of them. And then a shadow appeared above me. And I looked up and... And... It was King Dark Cacao Cookie! He forced the entire Cream Wolves into disciplinary training! I felt like my insides were being turned inside out! It's that soft, velvety bed! That... thing defies everything the warriors of Dark Cacao stand for! Haha! -ha! Did everyone sleep well? Behold! I have taken extra care to prepare for our long day ahead. Madeline Cookie! You used a lot more cream than usual today. You look really fancy. As I should. I must look perfect for today's commendation ceremony. I used an entire bottle of whipped cream to style my hair. Do you like it? Of course you like it! After all, I am Madeline Cookie. Ceremony or not, it has already been a day since our arrival in the Krem Republic. I am eager to learn how research on the Soul Jam is proceeding. Oh, me too! I wonder how it's going! I believe there is some time before the ceremony begins. Shall we proceed to the Institute to learn for ourselves? And after. You each remember what I asked yesterday, yes? Each of us must engage in deep conversation with the Elders. Finally confident that we have examined and analyzed Soul Jam to its fullest. You there, hand me the detailed analysis. Right here. Pure compressed sugar with no traces of impurities of any sort. And, as suspected, an unknown source of concentrated life energy contained within. An amazing find. But where did all this energy come from? Who would have thought that such an ancient relic could be hiding so many mysteries? Let us proceed immediately with the next phase. A safe transference of energy into a different receptacle. Wait, sir! What sort of receptacle are you thinking? My initial hypothesis is to use the materials that we have on hand and find a suitable substance and form through trial and error. 
But this energy is extremely concentrated, almost dangerously so. Can it really be transferred safely? If a volatile chain reaction were to occur, would the soul jam remain intact? Would we be safe? Time will not wait for your questions to be answered. There is no choice but to proceed as quickly and efficiently as possible. But no one has ever handled or experimented with this much life energy. Then we shall be the first to do so. Science does not progress through debate. It proceeds with experimentation. Hi, Espresso Cookie. How are things going here? Ah, yes, hello. You're here. Why is the mood so dull here? Did something go wrong? No, no. Nothing more than a slight difference of opinion. Detailed analysis of the Soul Gem has been completed. I am now going to proceed with attempting to transfer its energy into another receptacle of our making. As of this moment, my standing hypothesis is to use substances as similar to the Soul Gem itself. As they are composed of pure sugar, a receptacle of equally similar purity should suffice. We will need sugar. Lots of it. I need you to bring me sugar cubes, as many as you can carry. On it! Halt! State your purpose! Ah, oh, Consul! Welcome, Clotted Cream Cookie! Greetings. I have sent word to Elder Oyster Cookie in advance requesting an audience. May I enter? Of course, Consul. Please, this way. Clotted Cream Cookie, to what do I owe the pleasure? Manor Oyster is as radiant as I remember. The glimmering of pearls throughout its halls is beautiful as always. <laughs> the affluence of House Oyster has consistently grown throughout the years, especially so due to Captain Caviar Cookie's assistance. But please sit. Ah, a cup of tea for the consul, please. Right away, madam. Apologies, but I'm afraid I do not have the leisure for tea. I must soon return to my duties. Oh, and here I assumed you were visiting to speak of important matters in privacy, which is why I've asked my aid to remain outside during your visit. For you to send an envoy immediately after the assembly in the Lyceum, there is something on your mind, is there not? <sighs> Truly, nothing can get past your sharp eyes and wit, Madam Oyster Cookie. Your insight shines brighter than the most valuable of pearls. I am compelled to inform you of an incident that occurred while transporting the Soul Gem. Unknown assailants, concealing their faces in masks of white, ambushed us and stole the Soul Gem. Though we successfully recovered the Soul Gem, my mind continues to dwell on the ambush. They seemed to be moving according to an agreed plan. Cookies in white masks? Oh, I'm unfamiliar with such a group. Do you have any suspicions as to who they may be? <sighs> I do not. However, no one outside the Convocation of Elders knew of our mission to retrieve the Soul Jam. In other words, an Elder is directly involved in this incident. Hmm... I see. Are you certain you can voice these concerns to me, a member of the Convocation of Elders? I am certain that you, Elder Oyster Cookie, are not responsible. What have you to gain from such subterfuge? House Oyster is the wealthiest and most influential house in the Krim Republic. Why engage from the shadows with a group of masked cookies? <laughs> you speak the truth, indeed. Those are not my methods. Though speaking in such a manner is somewhat poignant. I must be frank, Consul. Each member has their own set of motives and schemes in play. One cannot reach such positions of power and prominence without ambition. 
I am certain there is a member whose main interest lies in Soul Jam itself, rather than the imminent war with Dark Enchantress Cookie looming at our doorstep. It may not even be one member. It could be two, three, maybe more. Hence the reason for the utmost caution, madam. I have asked the delegates from the kingdoms to assist in a discreet investigation. You already have a plan in motion. I am impressed. It seems our young consul was truly a perfect fit for the job. But heed my advice. Do not be too trusting. I, myself included, as a cookie of the sea, and one who witnessed the founding of our republic, I have seen much change sweep across our nation throughout the years. I have amassed a great fortune of pearls and stand at the forefront of House Oyster. And yet, if given the opportunity to claim Soul Jam as my own for an eternity of wealth and power, I would not hesitate to seize that chance. I understand. Pardon the intrusion, madam. The consul's tea, brewed with fresh oyster shells over low heat. Uh, thank you. Clotted cream cookie. Let us enjoy our tea. Let us enjoy it as if we were merely enjoying another peaceful day. Sire, a, a certain uninvited guest has arrived again. Shall I give the usual response of Sire's absence? No, not this time. I will deal with this matter personally. Welcome, madam. It has been a long time, has it not? Oh, I am surprised I actually managed to come on a day you were present. <laughs> As per usual, I am heavily preoccupied with matters of state. It would be wise to, perhaps, send word of your visit in advance. Oh, I was just, um, strolling past your manor, uh, by coincidence, of course. And I thought to myself, it may be an opportune moment to visit. <laughs> My apologies if I am intruding at a delicate time. It is quite all right, madam. May I inquire as to the nature of your abrupt visit? I am... well... how is he? I heard... <clears throat> I recently learned that he has returned from a faraway voyage. It was of extreme importance and resulted in great success. Only a sharp mind for politics and diplomacy could have brought such an outcome. The coins invested in his education and training were not spent in vain. Were he to have remained in House Scone in its current state, his potential may have wasted away to crumbs. It is fortunate that House Custard was there for him. Oh, I am pleased to hear so. To hear of his feats throughout the entire Republic warms my heart. I, um... There is something that I must ask of you. I would like to meet him. To see him after so long would... As I have stated, he is engaged in matters far too important at the moment. The very fate of the Krem Republic rests upon his shoulders, and distractions may hinder his efforts. He must focus on preparing for the imminent war with Dark Enchantress Cookie. It is time for rational logic, not wavering emotions. You are a mother of immense love and wisdom. Can you not see what is needed most in this moment? Oh, um, but I... <sighs> yes, yes, perhaps you are right. If you are truly concerned for his well-being and future, then pray for him with all of your heart. Such impromptu visits will only cloud his judgment. He is in good hands. 
As patron of House Custard, I promise to stay by him at all times. Well, I... <sighs> Thank you, Elder Custard. Before I take my leave, may I advise you on this matter? You may visit on any occasion you wish. Though I recommend any future visit be regarding matters of greater import. Uh, um. <sighs> Father, I have returned. How have you fared in my absence? I trust that all is well. Welcome back. I received word of the ambush. An attempt to steal the soul jam, was it? Yes. Do not leave out a single detail. Our party was ambushed by a group of unknown assailants in white masks while transporting the soul jam. We successfully retrieved the soul jam from said assailants, but we have yet to identify the culprits. Did you not consider the possibility such an attempt could be made? You should have planned for every outcome with the utmost caution. Imagine the shame that would be elicited had you failed to safeguard something so important. Do you know how much dishonor would be brought upon our house had you lost the soul gem? All eyes of the city are on you. Many are already skeptical of your eligibility. Are you deliberately trying to bring disgrace upon me and House Custard? It seems the summit with the ancient heroes has made you sloppy and negligent. Tell me, what is your next move? I was unaware of the existence of such a group within our Republic. To prevent such mishaps from occurring, I intend on taking extra precautions and fully investigating the matter both internally and externally. So your plan is a cover-up, born from words that sound plausible but carry no weight. Perhaps I was wrong. This negligence, this complacency is not from your travels. No, it is a flaw inherited from your parents. Your mother was always easily excited, even at the smallest of deeds. You fool! Think of what I've sacrificed to smother out such imperfections from your very dough! It seems your studies and training have grown lax of late. And the thieves? Have you found out where they came from yet? No. The investigation is ongoing. We are receiving eyewitness accounts from cookies who were at the Sanctum and the Piazza. Another effort is being made to identify cookies capable of breaching the reliquary. Obey my words, boy. Protect that soul jam. Do not take your eyes off it for even a single moment. Do not forget. The future of House Custard and the Krem Republic rests on your shoulders. Live up to the expectations! Whatever happens, do not bring disgrace to this family. I saved you from ruination! I gave you power and strength! I've invested too much for you to tarnish the prominence of this family! This is all that's needed of you to repay your debt to House Custard. Understood. Understood. Hiya! Whoa there! Halt! What brings you to the naval shipyard? These facilities are off limits to unauthorized cookies. Huh? Aren't you kind of short for a guard? Hey, Wildberry Cookie! Wanna bet who can get through these two first? That punch of yours can pack a wallop, can it? <sighs> Diplomacy is not your strong suit, is it? Hi there! We were wondering if we could meet Captain Caviar Cookie. It's our first time in the Krem Republic, and we have some questions for him. You got killed for brains? The captain isn't someone you can just ask for willy-nilly. Yeah, and he's... 
Captain, sir! He's up there, mates. These are visitors from abroad, and they got the air of, uh, wanting to learn the ropes. Well, here I am. What do you want from this old sea dog? In fact, why don't you hop on deck? The ship is adorned with various trophies and medals. Exactly what sort of cookie are we dealing with? Have a seat, have a seat. How do you like my ship? Ain't she a beaut? I think there's something wrong with the floor. It's like shaking back and forth like an earthquake. You don't have any sea legs at all, do you, outsider? What sort of way you'd be afraid of some wee little waves? Well, if you feel like your insides are turning and spinning like a maelstrom, take a sip of this, eh? It's so salty! Of course it is! It's juice made from the freshest seawater! It feels good to have salt flow through your dough, eh? So tell me, you lot are from the continent across the sea? Then you'd be aware of Dark Enchantress Cookie in the oncoming war then. Yeah, Dark Enchantress Cookie is waiting for a chance to attack. She's already tried to spark war several times, but the next attack may be the big one. Is that why the Soul Jam is needed? To defeat Dark Enchantress Cookie? Exactly! Sharing the power of Soul Jam might give Cookies the chance to stand up against Dark Enchantress Cookie. Aye, aye. But explain to me this. Do we really need the Soul Jam? Ain't it quicker to call up the fleet and go in with cannons blazons? I can wrap my head around it. Bring in some foreign artifacts for research. Bleh! Too slow a plan for me. Hmm. You genuinely seem to believe you can hold your own. But of course, lad. You think these trophies and medals be nothing but paperweights? The blue seas surrounding our republic are peaceful thanks to me and my fleet's campaigns against the pirates. If it weren't for the fleet, why, the city might end up as a lawless cove for a particular smelly turtle of a pirate in his lot. Wow! You fought pirates? That is so cool, Captain Caviar Cookie! Ho oh, ho! You lot are as brave as I am! No doubt in my mind! We're all after the same thing, ain't we? And it doesn't matter whose dough is salty or sweet! Now raise your glasses! Let's have another round of juice! <sighs> juice... How... Original. This cookie's pretty cool. He's got a fiery enough spirit to melt ice, and seems like a proud, strong warrior. Just like me! A warrior can recognize a fellow warrior. Believe me, the captain doesn't seem like a bad sort. You are the delegates from the kingdoms overseas? Welcome. I am Sable Cookie, Elder of the Arts. How do you like our fair city? It's... alright, I guess. Still don't know what to think, honestly. Goodness, how so? We are the only nation on Earthbred for such a sophisticated, yet elegant and dignified culture to call home. The Cookies of the Krem Republic spend their days with happiness and delight. Just look at the Cookies in the piazza, enjoying life to its fullest. Hello there! You seem to be in the greatest of moods, my friend. Of course I am in a great mood! Life is great and sweet! Our Republic is the greatest place on Earth, Bread. And there you have it. Heartwarming, is it not? The city itself is a work of art. Below your feet are handcrafted tiles adorned with shells, coated with sugar to provide comfort with each step. And afar, the Lyceum, the seat of authority and power in the Republic. Inspired by conch shells to express balance and symmetry. A prime example of avant-garde architecture and form. Can any of you understand her? She's... speaking... cookie, right? Immerse yourselves in the city and you will see more than just art. You will see true culture at its finest. Ah, speaking of true culture, the Bear Jelly King is performing tonight. A masterpiece which I have directed. The stage and its props are breathtaking. The cast is simply marvelous. 
I shall extend a special invitation for you to tonight's showing. Mm, thank you, but we must decline as we are quite busy. Busy? And what may you be busy with? Some weird cookies and white masks attacked us to steal the Soul Jam. We're looking for them right now, and if there's anything you can tell us about them, that'd be great. Oh, what an ungrateful and horrid affair. The Republic is not home to such nefarious cookies. But I've an idea where you might find answers. Where is it? Such a commotion could only be plotted by cookies of the Lower City. The Lower City lies just below the Republic, with dense barnacle shacks and too much silt and mud for its own good. Oh, not to mention the awful salty sea breeze. The cookies of the Lower City do not appreciate fine culture and architecture. Rumor has it they are as rugged as the sea. I suggest looking into the Lower City. Who knows what they are capable of? The Lower City? Okay, we'll take a look. Oh, and if you can spare a moment, please do come by the performance. It is the epitome of Republic culture for those of refined taste. Oh, I used to train here every day. Oh, this place is just like I remembered. My strict training regimen focused on whirling my cloak at a perfect angle. Haha! <laughs> Have you trained in cloak whirling too? Financier Cookie? I cannot say that I have. By the divines! Do my eyes deceive me? Oh, Madeline Cookie, the star paladin of our academy has returned! Greetings, Elder Vanilla Sugar Cookie. Welcome home, Financier Cookie. Your mission abroad was no small feat. The divines have graced you. Their celestial light has surely aided your endeavors. Join me in prayer. Let us thank the divines for their blessings. May all who devote this prayer to the divine light remain crispy and fresh. May all who devote this prayer to the divine light remain crispy and fresh. To share this prayer with the two of you, it brings a tear to my eyes. This prayer holds a great role in history. The founding of the Republic was a time of confusion, of hunger. But the Divines blessed us with sunlight and jellies, helping us build what we see today. And you, as warriors who adhere to the Light's commands, must continue to act with pride and purpose. And not to forget, your role in helping the research on Soul Jam must also be completed. According to Espresso Cookie, the analysis and research are well underway. Elder Vanilla Sugar Cookie, we approach with the utmost respect and caution, but there is something you must know. The Soul Jam has been targeted by a group of unknown cookies. They have already attempted to steal it and nearly succeeded. What? How? How could such accursed actions be committed? We are seeking your guidance, Elder. Your knowledge and wisdom may aid us in identifying these cookies. Alas, child, I cannot provide wisdom on matters I have no knowledge of. I've yet to hear such news or details on this. But why are you asking me, I wonder? Are you suspecting me of committing such a disgraceful act? D no, of course not. Elder Vanilla Sugar Cookie, you are the foremost expert on our city's history from beginning to present. We are simply asking for your insight. Well, that could have turned out awkward indeed. But look around you. Our Republic is perfect. Our cookies do not even litter. To engage in such heinous deeds and crimes, the Divines will surely bring retribution upon them. 
The pursuit of them is not your business. Completing research on the Soul Jam must come first. Understand? Phew. Well known as Elder Vanilla Sugar's temper. I'm glad we got out of there early. The fog of mystery still shrouds everything. Where is the source of the leak? Say, why are there so many youngsters in front of the Sanctum today? The Sanctum provides free meals twice a week. Elder Milfuya Cookie is leading an effort to provide food for young children. Young children without parents. Oh, the Elder is doing such heartwarming work. Ah, oh, and it appears she is here today. Oh, wow! Jelly stew! My favorite! Please, 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 can I have some more? I want to eat so much today. Oh, yes, dearest, of course. But remember to pray and give thanks to the light for the meal, okay, sweetie? <laughs> oh, right. Thank you, Divine Light. I promise to be the nicest, bestest cookie ever. Greetings, Elder Mifoya Cookie. Oh, hello, my friends. Such wonderful weather today, is it not? I'm glad you're uninjured from yesterday's incident, Elder Milfoya Cookie. Yes, I merely fainted due to shock. I feel perfectly fine now. And these young ones' smiles and laughter give me strength. Now then, have you identified the cookies in the white masks yet? For something so evil to happen in our blessed sanctum. Oh, my very dough shivers at such a thought. We have yet to uncover any significant details. Do you remember anything from that moment that may aid us? Oh, I, uh... I was much too flustered at the moment. Then perhaps you have an idea or suspicion on who would want to steal the Soul Jam. Oh, hmm. My first instinct is to suspect those who may benefit financially from such a crime. The ancient heroes' soul jam are, after all, great artifacts that may fetch a grand price. Perhaps the assailants were intending on selling the soul jam. Yes, you may find an answer in that direction. But what breaks my heart is that we, the Elders, were unable to protect you from this painful incident. On behalf of the entirety of the Convocation of Elders, please accept my apologies. No apologies necessary, Elder Milfoya Cookie. You are not the one at fault here. If there is anything I can do to help, you may ask without hesitation. I shall do everything I can to aid you. Thank you for the offer. We still have a long way to go in unraveling this mystery. What luck! I believe that is Elder Canale Cookie. Greetings, Elder Canale Cookie. Hmm. Have you business with me? If time permits, we would like to ask you something. Have you heard anything regarding cookies in white masks? White masks? White masks. What sort of white masks? They are an organized group of vandals who attempted to steal the Soul Jam. A suspicious and dangerous bunch. When did such a group form within our fine republic? I... I don't know anything. <laughs> I am the elder of finance. My day-to-day -day tasks on keeping tabs of imports and exports and checking the coffers keep me far too busy. Whose idea was it to give an elder this much work? I've not even the time for tea, ever. So, Elder Canale Cookie, you truly have no idea about this incident? Of course I don't know anything. But tell me, the Soul Gem, did the Soul Gem really belong to the ancient heroes? Yes, it is said to be their source of power. A treasure of that sort could fetch a hefty price. I must say, I'm quite jealous of the ancient heroes. All cookies must respect their power, not covet it. Mm, that's all I will say about Soul Jam. Now, I must take my leave. I've much to do, much to do! Our conversation with Elder Canale Cookie has not revealed much either. 
I have a hunch that the Elder wished to say more. But what could it have... That must be Elder Bonkachin, Koki. Well? What are we waiting for? Let's go! Salutations. Are you perhaps Elder Bonkachin, Koki? Ah, the cookies from the Lyceum. How may I help you? Are you injured? I can treat your wounds if you wish. We're okay. We just wanted to ask a question about cookies and white masks. And who might they be? Some cookies and white masks attacked us. They almost stole the Soul Jam too. And we were wondering if you knew anything about them. Apologies, but I am afraid I cannot aid you. There are many more patients that need tending than usual. Uh, Elder Bomkachin Cookie? You're wearing a mask. Ah, this. It was some time ago. A light fragment had caused some stir in our peaceful city. In retrospect, it was most likely a portion of Soul Jam capable of destroying the entire city. I was injured during the chaos. As much as I tried to treat myself, the scars and long-term effects of that fateful day remain. Oh no! That's horrible! One side of me firmly believes that Soul Jam is dangerous. The other is somewhat jealous of the ancient heroes and their ability to wield such power. Legends say their dough remains fresh and crispy to this day, that they do not age or ever get soggy. And on the other hand, there's me, frail since a child, too soft for my own good. I've always coveted those with healthy and firm dough. This is why I vowed to become the greatest healer in history. I've invested much into treating all varieties of injuries. My theories and experiments have yielded great strides in medicinal techniques. But alas, we as cookies are inherently soft and frail beings. My treatments can only go so far. As for the Soul Jam, I am quite fascinated that it provides health and preserves youth. I will admit that it is quite remarkable. I wish for an opportunity to examine it myself. Though I doubt that opportunity will ever come. Mm, that one is suspicious. I think so too. Andy was hiding behind a mask. I couldn't tell what he was thinking. And you know who else wore a mask? Those treacherous cookies and white masks! Coincidence? I don't think so! We can't jump to conclusions just yet, but we definitely shouldn't let our guard down. Why, hello there, fellow scientists. How goes the research on the Soul Jam? <gasps> the Elder of Engineering Mold Juice Cookie! It is such an honor to meet you, Elder Mold Juice Cookie. I, 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 I became a scientist thanks to you. Your designs on toy planes served as the foundation for airship technology. And you created the Lay Aqueducts. Thanks to your genius, the entire city is connected to the Mana Network. <laughs> come now, come now. My deeds do not deserve such praise. I see that Espresso Cookie is too concentrated on his work. It seems he hasn't heard a word we've said so far. On the contrary, I am merely focusing on finishing a crucial step in this current experiment. Oh? It hit a wall, have we? I am searching for a viable container to hold the Soul Jam's energy. I've been experimenting with sugar for the most part, but each receptacle is much too weak to safely contain the energy. Sugar, you say? A great choice. Apply enough pressure and compressed sugar can be some of the hardest material known to Cookie. Compressed sugar? An exemplary idea! I shall try with compressed sugar immediately! Glad to assist. Honorable Elder Mold Juice Cookie, I was wondering... Your innovations have done so much to advance technology and improve life in the Republic. But, why is it that you have decided not to lead the research on Soul Jam? Huh, that's a good question. I guess uh, I didn't feel like it. 
<laughs> Sounds rather plain, doesn't it? Let me elaborate. Soul Jam is a power that already exists in this world. But my passion is to create something new. Something from nothing. After all, analysis and experimentation are tedious work at my age. It's much more well-suited to those with drive and ambition. Maybe even the ones who sacrifice some sleep as well. But your insight may be of immense help. I am rather preoccupied with my own little experiment. I'm in the process of creating a mechanical bird that spouts water automatically. You'll be the first to see my finished prototype. I see. But indeed, your advice has proven extremely valuable. Well then, I'm off. Good luck with your research. And don't forget to replenish your strength with jellies and lots of breaks. Hmm. Now then, it is time to invest all of our efforts into finding a suitable receptacle using sugar. Um, espresso cookie? The commendation ceremony is beginning soon, isn't it? Oh. <sighs> that. I'll be back. We'll be right here, conducting our own experiments. Just look at this crowd! So many cookies have arrived to congratulate our efforts! I have no time for this. Every second spent here is a waste of valuable time. Now, now, espresso cookie. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Be proud of your accomplishments. The celestial light has graced us with perfect weather once more. And here before us stand two cookies, blessed by the light itself. These two brave souls have traveled far and wide to ensure peace and prosperity for the Republic and all of Earthbread. They have recently returned from a mission of great import. To commemorate their success, I am proud to present commendations graced by the Divines themselves to Madeline Cookie and Espresso Cookie. <laughs> I am greatly honored. I swear by the light to continue serving the Creme Republic. Hooray, Madeline Cookie! But what did Madeline Cookie actually do? I don't know. It's Madeline Cookie. He must have done something amazing. Oh, that makes sense. Hooray, Madeline Cookie! Espresso Cookie, step forth. You hail from humble beginnings, with little wealth or prestige to your name. And yet, you have proved your worth through ability and skill alone. May the Divines bless your future as you continue to work for the prosperity of the Republic. Thank you. Now then, let us enjoy the remainder of the day with tea and <laughs> desserts. Espresso cookie! Oh, what a glorious day! Come, join me and raise a glass of juice! <laughs> no time for juice. I must take my leave. What? Already? Wait, when did you get changed? Research attire does not have need for swaying cloaks or fancy sleeves. I do not have the luxury of time. Wow, Espresso Cookie, you seem super busy. You don't have a lot of time left, do you? In all honesty, my progress has encountered... a snag. I require something special, a substance that is quite rare. My quest for this rare substance may lead to danger. May I ask for your aid in my quest?
jellies right here. Get your squid jellies here. Ain't no one else got freshest squid jellies, guaranteed. There's so many cookies here. Never thought the Krim Republic had a place like this. The streets are narrow, cookies everywhere, and why is the ground so soggy? This is what many call the Lower City. As we get closer to the coast, the environment and atmosphere will significantly differ from what you've seen up there. I advise you to watch your step as you make your way through the crowd. There's too many cookies here! I can't see where I'm going! Hey! Hey! Is everyone alright? I can see exactly where I'm going. You calling me short, bub? Is this what's called a night market? This is so cool! There's so much to see! Hey there! You with the fancy buttons! You like fancy buttons, eh? Then take a look at my wares! Salty sees you're a big one. Or you, you need a new set of armor? We've got the largest selection in the night market. Pow! Yeah, you, pow! The one with the puppy. Does your pup like toys and snacks? We've got the best pet wares in the land. Uh oh? Oh! That looks interesting! Stay focused and keep close. We can't lose sight of espresso cookie. All right! I'm moving, I'm moving! That holly berry ensure is a stick in the mud. How much further must we go, Espresso Cookie? We've yet to arrive. The sea must be close enough to taste in the air. It's so dark here. Hi, you! Got any coins? Come on, spare some coins for a hungry cookie! Ah! Oh! <laughs> you scared me! <laughs> I'm sick and tired of living on these streets! It's dark, it's damp! Oh, I'm sick of living off scraps and moldy jellies. I want to live and work up there in the city. If only those good-for-nothing upper city vultures would give us the opportunity. Cookies tainted by sea and mud. Hearken to me. Hear me. Accept the words of Providence and you may find deliverance. We bring the prospect of a promised land, rich in sunlight and firm soil. Something's fishy here. And it ain't fish I smell. Are we still in the Republic? This place is... shady. Of course we are. Many have forgotten, but the land we are in right now is also part of the Krem Republic. You seem to know this area quite well. How is it you know your way around these alleys and corridors? Are you...? Yes. This is my home. What? Really? You grew up here? Yes, and what of it? Let us continue on. The air is getting salty. 
We are nearing our destination. Are sinking with each step. Ugh. My pristine cream boots, soiled by such muddy waters. <sighs> Aunties will be aghast. I can't walk through this stuff. And I've walked through the harshest snow and ice on all of Earth bread. The dark black sea. And not a cookie can be seen in these vast mud flats. The ingredient you were searching for. Is it truly in such a place? Yes, I can make out a slight shadow over there. Ah, yes, I see you still call this place home, Seaweed Cookie. Well, 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 look who's back. I thought you left this place for good after moving up. And you brought friends. <laughs> you made friends. Don't remember you ever being the sociable sort. Who are you? This is Seaweed Cookie. An acquaintance from my early childhood. What are you doing here in the dark? Me? Oh, me, me, me. <laughs> Just working. Every day cookies turn to crumbs, as we all will one day. We're all cookies, we all crumble. But the cookies up there have a much more flamboyant send off. But cookies of the sea, salt in their dough, luck down low. They're ones to be buried in the mud, apropos. That's where I come in. <laughs> I perform, shall I say, a small ritual of sorts. I give the nameless a chance to sleep in the eternal night at peace. Then, underneath this mud are... What?! Ah! Have some respect. I don't show up where you work and scream at the top of my lungs, do I? This is how the world works. We may have differences in our dough, but in the end, we all become crumbs. And that's true of everyone, everywhere. You, me, us, them. We're all heading in the same direction. So while you're here, why not make a silent wish for your fellow cookies here to find peace? Hmm. Speaking of, I come here to ask you something, Seaweed Cookie. Do you have anything that you've gathered? During your work here, I require some for my research, and I hope you can spare some. Huh. What sort of research? I cannot go into specifics, but it is of vital importance. It is essential to save the kingdoms and nations built by the ancient heroes, as well as protecting cookies all over Earthbread. Hmm. You were never one to exaggerate or tell stories, so... It must be very important, then. If you really are going to help save Earthbread, 
I'm sure the cookies at rest here will be proud of your efforts. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. I have quite an amount stored. <laughs> here, it's yours. What's that? Thank you, seaweed cookie. This will help in my experiments very much. I shall not let it go to waste. Glad to have helped. <laughs> How about you come visit us from time to time? Just because you're all famous up there doesn't mean you can forget your roots. We've made many memories here together. Remember? Remember? Espresso cookie. Yes. I promise to return for a visit once my research has concluded. Now then, seaweed cookie, we must take our leave. <laughs> Goodbye. Are we heading back to the Institute now? Not just yet. We must first head to my own personal laboratory. The ingredient I've just procured must be covertly transported with the utmost care. And handling it at the Institute is a risk in and of itself. But, after all, science does not provide new discoveries unless one is willing to act. Something still smells fishy about all this. <laughs> ah! What is it? Why all the barking? What do you smell? The wolf seems on edge. On edge? No! It's because of all that creepy stuff we saw in Chaco Mud Town! Just thinking about it again. <laughs> Crumbs. Underneath our feet. Did you not say you dealt with life and death at the borders of your kingdom? Why is this any different? It's not different! I'm a fierce warrior and cookie of the dark cacao! But this didn't feel right. Maybe it's the sea air and all the humidity getting to me. <laughs> hey! What's up, pal? What do you smell? Hey! The cookies and white masks! Crumbs! We've been made! It seems they were following us. Stop right there! You won't get away from us this time! Chase them down! 
They went into that alleyway! Huh? Ow! Ow! What are you doing? Is that some Hollyberry and tackling move? No. Just bumped into this cookie. Are you unhurt, citizen? Providence has protected me. Providence has protected even me. A lowly cookie. I do not deserve Providence. And you... You? Would you like to hear the voice of Providence? Nope. It seems our masked friends have fled. What are we waiting for? Let's go after them while the trail is still fresh! No. We must escort Espresso Cookie to his personal laboratory. We do not know what the masked ones are plotting. Some may be lurking in the shadows as we speak. We must get out of here. Agreed. Let us head towards my personal laboratory. Espresso Cookie, this lab of yours is amazing! On the contrary, it is merely a laboratory that suits my needs. By the Divines, it's been ages since my last visit here! Huh, it never ceases to fascinate me. Where are the spacious halls and dazzling chandeliers? Where are the soft, comfortable sofas and beds? Where is the splendid dining room where one can chat with guests to their heart's delight? This is no laboratory. This is a storage warehouse. As I've stated before, it suits my needs. Are you planning to complete your research here? No, the Institute of Thaumaturgy still has the equipment I need. I will return there soon. But while I am here, I must take several scrolls and tomes, as well as prior research materials. Please wait here as I collect the necessary items. Who's that? Could it be the cookies and white masks? Oh, so you are inside, Expresso Cookie. I thought I heard you inside, which is why I kept knocking. Greetings, good landlord. So, you do remember me. <laughs> Your laboratory has been empty for so long. You had a ton of mail in your absence. Not to worry, I have them stored safe and sound. But, I'm not here for that. I'm here because you're behind on utilities! Ah, yes, of course. The utility bill must be greatly overdue. Uh, trust me, I shall pay it in full as soon as I am able. Good, good, excellent. But there is the matter of... Uh, well, taxes and prices are both rising throughout the entire city. In your absence, rent is also being increased everywhere. I'm sorry to tell you this so suddenly, but your rent has been upped as well. And now that you're here, let's talk. If you want to keep using this space, then you'll have to pay more coins. What? What is the meaning of this? I beg your pardon, but did I not pay rent in full for this property? And I'm saying that the rate itself has been increased. Listen. I know you're a great scientist and wizard. I never pestered you once about rent. But nothing's free in this world, huh? Come on now. You have to understand where I'm coming from, don't you? <sighs> Very well. So, how much is it? I knew you would understand. Which is why I brought the new contract about the lease. Take a look. This is... absurd. Now that hurts, Espresso Cookie. I've taken much care to provide you with the fairest price possible. This fine piece of real estate fetches a much higher price. <sighs> Living in the Republic sounds tough. You can say that again. 
Life in the Dark Cacao Kingdom is the life for me. You get rid of that landlord? Mm, I shudder to think of what you meant by get rid of. Yes, yes, it was not entirely unexpected. The landlord shall receive payment in full. But enough of that. Thank you, everyone. With the supplemental materials from my laboratory and the ingredient collected from Choco Mud Town, I believe I can proceed exponentially quicker. I shall return to the Institute of Thaumaturgy at once. Will you be okay alone? What if the masked cookies are waiting in ambush? I shall be fine. The path to the Institute will be safe. Okay, now then, where should we go? The sun has set ages ago. We must rest. Let us return to Mansion Madeline. Ah, my friends. I see you have returned. How fares Espresso Cookie's research? The start may have proven difficult, but I believe he is confident in making great progress. This is welcome news. It is Espresso Cookie we're talking about, after all. Have you had a chance to discuss matters with the Elders? Yeah, but... We haven't really found or heard anything suspicious. What about you? Have you learned anything from Oyster Cookie and Custard Cookie? I too have yet to discover anything of significance. I am still quite certain that the Convocation of Elders is involved. Their intentions are not easy to discern. We encountered the cookies and white masks once again in the Lower City. We will not lose sight of them next time. I see. At least, when observed from afar, the research into Soul Jam is proceeding without too much difficulty. But, of course, I am only speaking as if I am an outside observer. The truth is that without identifying our masked assailants, we must remain vigilant until the research is concluded and the Soul Jam is returned to its rightful owners. For now, I shall retire to my quarters. I advise you get some rest too, my friends. the upper city after visiting the lower city feels weird. They're like two entirely different cities. Life in the Krem Republic is tougher than it seems. But it's time to get some rest. Tomorrow is gonna be a long day too. yoo -hoo! Is everyone awake? Come on down! Breakfast is ready! Come and sit! Get it while it's hot! We have plenty of fruit, juice, and jellies for everyone! Our kitchen cook is one of the best in the Republic! Whoa! So much yummy looking food! How are you liking the city so far? Having fun? Enjoying the weather? Oh, of course you are! Uh, actually, we got ambushed by some strange cookies! <gasps> An attack? Oh, you poor things! What happened? Some cookies and white masks tried to steal something important from us. We stopped them, but it was a close call. Oh, Divines! How could such a dreadful thing happen? And you said you stopped them? How commendable! Here, eat some more! Eat up! It was all thanks to my training in the Dark Cacao Kingdom. Oh, you simply must tell us more about the Dark Cacao Kingdom! Is it a good spot for vacation? When is the climate the nicest? It's always freezing cold, and the snow never stops. If you aren't as used to the cold like me, then you might end up as a frozen cookie. Goodness! That sounds rather rough for my taste. And you, Wildberry Cookie, you said you were from the Hollyberry Kingdom? 
I've read in books that the Hollyberry Kingdom's palace is filled with music and hosts grand balls and festivals. Ooh, now that sounds like a nice vacation spot. How do Hollyberrians dance? You know, I've been receiving dancing lessons recently. Mm, I do not know much about such affairs. That is... not my area of expertise. That makes me even more curious. The Hollyberry Kingdom sounds like such a wonderful place. Madeline Cookie, where do you think you're going? You only had six plates. Come, have some more. Oh, always looking out for my health. Uh, thank you, aunties. <laughs> you know what they say. A well-fed stomach is a stomach well-suited for great deeds. Don't any of you go anywhere just yet. We've more food to come and plenty to go around. Today is the last day the Soul Jam can be researched. It feels unfitting to spend a morning with such leisure. You got a good point there. We gotta stay focused. Why don't we head over to the Institute once we're done eating? I wonder how Espresso Cookie is holding up. transferring the energy of Soul Jam in just a single day. This is remarkable progress. All that's left is harnessing that energy for use. If, if you think about it, we're almost halfway done with our goal. Did something good happen? Everyone seems excited. Hi, Espresso Cookie. How's your research going? You, uh, you look sort of tired. Tired? I beg to differ. I have been conducting experiments while sipping on a quadruple shot espresso. That's usually what we call tired. Are you alright? <laughs> yes, I can continue working with no difficulty. I have succeeded in transferring a portion of soul jam energy to a receptacle made of compressed sugar. The special ingredient we procured from Choco Mud Town has proven quite useful. That's great! Then does that mean your research is done? Not entirely. Attempting to utilize the energy results in the receptacle shattering to pieces. We've already experienced multiple explosions in these attempts. Though many here seem rather too excited in the face of these multiple failures. So what now? Is there anything we can do to help? No. These final steps will be completed quicker if I work alone. Ah, uh, wait. I take back my statement. May I ask you for a cup of coffee? Every moment matters today, and I must ward off sleep as efficiently as possible. Oh, and the coffee must be strong. Very strong. Coffee! Got it! I'll get you the best coffee I can find! Here! I brought some coffee! Drink up while it's hot! This... is... Ugh. Why? What's wrong? No, no, it's just... This is a latte. Yep, it was the only coffee I could find. It matters not. This... Latte... Will have to suffice. But... Whatever happens... Please keep this a secret from Latte Cookie. Huh? Uh, okay, I, I guess. Regardless, I can feel the caffeine coursing through my dough revitalizing my senses. Now I shall continue with my experimentation. We have nothing to do. Hmm. Are we to stay idle until the research is completed? Huh. <sighs> Sounds boring. Waiting around in some city isn't for me. As a proud guardian of the borders of the Dark Cacao Kingdom, 
And what do you propose? The night market! <clears throat> Let's go back to the night market. That place was fishy, I tell ya. The atmosphere was different, yes, but one akin to any market or bazaar in Earthbred. It resembled the Granberry Market back home. Nah, I tell you, there's something weird about that place. If we go looking and sniffing around, I know we're gonna find something. Very well. Mm, you did seem tempted by the sweets being sold there. No! You take that back! A dark cacao warrior doesn't need to live on sweets. I'm just saying that if we go back there, we might find out more about the masked cookies. That night market is our best bet. I know it. And that squeaky puppy toy looks super suspicious. Sure. Sure. Then let us depart and begin our investigation. Remaining idle is not my forte either. Bustling and busy as yesterday. The narrow streets do not make this easy. Look around. There's fishy stuff everywhere. Perfect gifts for children right here. Every child loves these toys, especially the squeaky puppy. On sale now. See? That squeaky puppy is still there. Suspicious. How is it moving on its own? Is it some form of magic? Well, answer me. Is it magic? Magic? No, no. There's a winding key right here, hidden under its fur. Suspicious. Very suspicious. I need to take a closer look for myself. How much is this? Fifteen coins. A best bargain price. Fifteen coins? That's... that's worth so many dark account rations. <clears throat> Fine. Deal. Give me one. There you go. Enjoy. Ended up buying one. Hey! This is how I learn about new places, all right? And this puppy kind of looks like my cream wolf. Eyes up front. Watch where you're going. What's that? Is that... Is this what they call a herring jelly pie? How could anyone think to make pie out of herring jellies? What are these Republic folk thinking? Here, bought it for you. You bought a pie? Mm-hmm. Herring jellies are sweeter than you'd think. Sweet? 
Try one. No, no! Must resist temptation! <laughs> As you wish. Okay, maybe. Just one bite. No! No, no! Gotta snap out of it! A warrior of the Dark Cacao must not be tempted by sweets! What if His Majesty finds out? King Dark Cacao Cookie may be more understanding and trusting than you realize. If he was not, why would he send you here? You... have a good point. Okay then, just one. It's... delicious! The savoriness of the herring jelly and the nuttiness of the pastry! Wait! Why am I talking like this? <clears throat> hey, what gives? I'm just describing food! It's them! Huh? Hey! You're right! They haven't noticed us yet. Let us tail them. going what where did they go they just disappeared right before our eyes <sighs> they really are quick on their feet keep your eyes peeled there's a fork in the road ahead they must have taken one of these paths you take the left i'll take the right agreed and be careful No one's here. What do you think, friend? Yeah, I think so too. They're not here. Let's hurry and find Wildberry Cookie. Did you hear that? Something's happening over there! Is Wildberry Cookie in trouble? This place is... Oh, the mud flats. Where we met Seaweed Cookie. Are they leading me towards a trap? We seem to be heading towards the darkest parts of the city. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Your path here must have been difficult. Ah, you led me into a trap. No, not just a trap. A trap that will lead to your demise.
stronger than he looks. Identify yourself. Take off that mask. To take off this mask is to commit heresy against Providence. I will never take off my mask. Then you leave me no choice. Our fight is over. To me, comrades. Get back! Your ignorance will not get in our way. You're appearing all at once again. Just like last time. It appears I may have underestimated you. Disbelieving heretic, your path to oblivion will end in crumbs, abandoned by all. Say your prayers, heretic. Attack! Hear someone fighting, but where? Where? Wait, wait, this is a piece of Wildberry Cookie's cloak ripped off, and there is Gauntlet. Did he get kidnapped? How can you be that big and tall and still get kidnapped? Those masked cookies must be better fighters than we thought. I gotta go save him. Spoiled icing! This is heavy! I got no choice but to drag it along! Hey, this is... the Mud Flats? This is where Seaweed Cookie was working last time. Ugh, this mud! I'm sinking with each step! And... Uh, underneath are... Uh, so creepy! I'm getting sugar bumps all over my dough! Gotta... Keep going. Come on. Come on. Wildberry Cookie might be in danger without his gauntlet. <laughs> Green Wolf, have you caught the sin of Wildberry Cookie? Wildberry Cookie, are you safe? Get off me. Wait, stop. We yield. Uh, it hurts. Why isn't he sinking in the mud? Hey. What? You can fight without your gauntlet? Crunchy Chip Cookie, you've arrived. This is nothing. My bare fists are enough. <sighs> Hurry up and take this! I had to lug that thing all the way here! Uh, thank you. Mm, this is more like it. The gauntlet feels much more natural. Now, <laughs> where were we? Change of plans! Target the other one! Get the small one first! How do I wait, Mongrel? Cream Wolf! Did you just kick my best friend? Did you just kick my best friend? Bring it! Bring it! Crunchy Chip Cookie. I stand by your side. Let's do this! We'll show you what the Dark Cacao and Hollyberry Kingdoms are capable of! Huh! Those soft buttered Republic Guards! They just took those mass cookies away! We weren't done with them! Crunchy Chip Cookie, we are the outsiders here. We have no jurisdiction here. We can only hope the criminals are properly detained and judged. Something's still fishy, I tell ya! Why is the lower city just... just... ignored like this? Why isn't anything being done properly here? Don't you see? Anything and everything that happens here just seems to get buried and forgotten! There are always two sides to a coin. The Hollyberry Kingdom as well as any other kingdom on Earthbred. 
has its own hushed shadows. But the Krem Republic's shadows are rather disturbing. That's my point! When we first got here, everyone looked like they had perfect lives, in their perfect streets, with their perfect smiles! We had no idea the Lower City was like this until we saw it ourselves! Is the Convocation of Elders unaware of such conditions? Or are they, in a matter of speaking, burying it in the mud? And what about Clotted Cream Cookie? Do you think he was keeping the Lower City a secret from us? No. He is not concealing this place from us. Perhaps he is merely indifferent and apathetic to the Lower City's misfortunes. Which, when you think about it, is even worse. All cookies should be equal! The Dark Cacao doesn't care about mansions or coins! We live together, we survive together, we fight together! The Hollyberry Kingdom has its fair share of opulent households, but at least we share the same culture and values. But here, only a select few seem to hold power and wealth. Frost Ridge, take me! The longer I spend here, the greater my respect for King Dark Cacao grows. He's always so calm, determined, and he always treats his subjects with respect and honor. I, too, am grateful to serve Her Majesty, Hollyberry Cookie. She treats all with the same level of respect and adoration. No matter the flavor of dough, no matter the house or status. Ha! You'd fit right into the Dark Cacao Kingdom, Wildberry Cookie. You should come visit one day. There's nothing like it. Training in the cold, icy wind and looking upon the snowy peaks. The Hollyberry Kingdom would suit you as well. You may quite enjoy Hollyberry in life. You'd find many a trustworthy colleague there, and may wish to stay indefinitely. Hmm. <laughs> hey, want to make a bet once we get back? A bet on who wants to visit whose kingdom more? I'm warning you though, you're gonna love the Dark Cacao Kingdom. I know it. I agree to this wager. I guarantee you will learn to admire the Hollyberry Kingdom. <laughs> I am certain. soon, provided by Providence itself. We will no longer trudge through the mud. We will no longer be caught in the dark, groveling to see the light of the sun. Huh? What nonsense are you spatting this time? We don't need paradise for some grand unknown power. We need work. We need jobs. Open your eyes. Flush away the ignorance. Unravel your hearts. Only then will Providence pave the way to the sky. I see you are tirelessly delivering the words of truth to the crowds. Providence smiles upon you. Thank you, good prior. Have you a report on the Cabal of Secrets' whereabouts? Unfortunately, they have been apprehended by the city guards. Fear not. I shall relay news of the Cabal's capture personally. But take caution. Our secret must not be unveiled. Providence will solve everything in time. I understand, Prior. May its mercy be granted to all. I take my leave. Continue preaching the words of truth. 
for one day, on that fateful day, all residing here will meet Providence. The hands of greatness, headdress of wisdom, and mountainous shadow will grace us all. off? It's already quite very late. You haven't slept in days. I will be fine. You may leave if you wish. I shall continue with my research. How does he do it? How does he stay awake without a wink of sleep for days on end? I don't know. He's either going to discover something great or cause a massive accident. <sighs> Once more, Unto the breach! Soul Gem energy has been successfully transferred into the receptacle. But each time physical contact is made, the receptacle shatters before my eyes. This time, I must succeed! Another failure! Why are you shattering? Why, why, why? Theory is foolproof! The formula is perfect! Attempting to make physical contact emits a small shockwave, as if resisting my hand. There is not enough time. The Soul Jam is to be returned in only a matter of hours. I need more time. No, I need more coffee. <sighs> Perhaps even coffee will not clear my mind at this time. And I must say, this is a first. Whenever there were unknown variables, I could identify said variables. I found an answer, a solution. But why not this time? I feel as if no amount of coffee will help me now. <laughs> to think that even coffee cannot help. Oh, I seem to have spilled some coffee. When did... This new receptacle is contaminated, and I will not stand for contamination. I must clear away this tainted sample and... What's this? I feel... a surge of energy? Could it be? I... The... This one is not resisting physical contact. It's as if my soul in this receptacle are resonating with each other. Was it the coffee stain? Could it be? What if I... Yes! What if I deliberately pour more coffee onto... This is... The receptacle is a perfect spear, exuding a grand aroma of the finest coffee I have ever encountered! And... I can hold it in my hand. The energy. The power! A new form of soul gem has been created, one that resonates with my very soul! The experiment is a success! 